This is a video on how to run a simulation on Kapasi. First I'm going to do File, Open, and then I have to find the one that I'm going to run. Okay, what I want to do is this one here, this one here, and this one here. Okay, so this brings the file, uh, the modeling file, into uh, Kapasi. You can see some information on it here. Uh, you can see some settings here. Uh, typically, these would be all uh, preset, uh, unless you're instructed otherwise. We expand model. Uh, we can expand biochemical and see some of the other things here, but what we're at uh, for this presentation is just to do the, the simulation. So we see the tasks, we expand time course, we see that it shows results. Come to the time course, it's important to note duration, the number of intervals, and that these two are interactive when you set them. Typically we'll just set one and then make sure the other one is where it needs to be. Here you can see a checkbox to save the results in the memory. If we're going to do a report, we would click on report, pick the type of report. Um, I'll do another video showing you how to um, create a new report because these uh, standard ones are not ones that we uh, use. You would, uh, it goes by default to the folder in which the Kapasi file uh, resides, uh, which is a convenient thing that we'll run into at other times. Um, I like to um, use a very standard naming practice. Um, what I'm going to do on this one is just give it today's date. I like to do that as well. 17th, 2013th. I might put the time. Depends on how much information there is. Um, we're out of the window a bit here. I'll pull this in. And then you click Save. That just creates the name. In this one, it's going to be Steady State. Typically within the name, uh, I'll uh, include the, uh, like if it's flux, as we'll create a report for later, uh, I'd put the word flux in there, right? Anyway, then you run. You can see over on the left here, there are graphs that are running. There are several of those. You would see them on your full screen. I'm just recording a portion of the screen. See, of course, the time scrolling on the bottom, and the uh, in this plate in this case it's uh, IP3 concentration. And typically, we have a concentration report and a flux report. Uh, this one I had selected. What did I select? steady state it just gave some steady state results uh, in this text file right even though I named it flux um, if I go to that folder partial window here where is it listing the text files down here at the bottom I'm not going to open it in Word. I'm just going to click it open here real quick. This is the information that uh, uh, went into that text file. Uh, we can open it uh, with Excel. Just do a file open with Excel, and it will uh, import it as a text file. Okay, so uh, that's uh, how you run a simulation uh, and dump the results into a report. If you click on results here, you can see all the results for just the, uh, the levels, the sizes of our compartments there. You can see it changes over the time. And then if you wanted, you can click Save to a file here. Uh, and I'm just going to put a 2 on the end of this one. This would be our levels. I don't like to do it this way. I like to run it the other way because it's more organized. Uh, but anyway, this is another way to get the results out, and now that's in our uh, in a text file uh, there as well. Okay.